There! Get to the gate! Let's keep going! We'll open up! Shit! Hey! Open up! I can't open the gate till you clear them out! Can't risk it! Won't fire. Get your ass inside. Come on now. God effing damn it, Francine. One of these days, those doors are going to close, and your ass will be on the other side. <laughs> yeah, and when that day comes, Trip. I promise, I'll eat you first. It's Clementine, right? You staying a while this time? No. Once the walkers pass, I'm taking this guy to a junkyard off the highway. My family might be trapped there. Hiding from some very bad dudes. Well, shit. I'm truly sorry to hear that. This herd rolled in pretty quick. We're hoping it's gone just as fast. So, just keep your heads down and steer clear of trouble. You got me? There's too much going on outside the walls tonight. We'll be cool. Just need a place to ride out the herd, that's all. All right. I'm gonna hold you to that. And I wouldn't recommend changing your mind. If you wanna hang on to all your teeth, that is. Now head on in. I got shit to do. Well, welcome to Prescott. It's a pretty cool place, actually. Built from an old airstrip, I guess. The people, on the other hand, they're not my favorite. Usually I'm in and out as quick as I can manage. Not exactly an option this time, though. It's just a pit stop, okay? We're gone as soon as there's a window. I hope that window comes soon. In the meantime... Hey, Javi. What's... what's up? My family... They're still out there. Look in the middle of all that. If you guys made it this long, I I'm sure, you know, they'll know what to do. Hopefully. Let's go. This way. I gotta see a guy about some bullets. Jeez, I haven't been in a place like this since, well, you know, it's just like the old days. Listen, I gotta take care of something. Hang tight. Well, wait, wait. What should I do? I don't know. Why don't you make some friends? Excuse me. Oh, you again. <laughs> you got some moves, I'll give you that. Hold on a minute. Don't I note you from somewhere? I don't know. Maybe. Garcia. Javier Garcia. For what it's worth, I think you got screwed on the gambling thing. A lifetime ban. Shit. Should have had a 20 year career. The way I see it. Nothing wrong with betting on yourself to win. <laughs> and that got a lifetime ban? Honestly, I don't even think about it anymore. Past is the past. <laughs> Fair enough. Anyway, I'm Conrad. This here's Francine. He runs the place? I just take his money. <laughs> yeah, well, maybe I'm just letting you win. Oh, actually, 
If you're the gambling type, game's poker. Five card stud. I'll raise you. What do you think? Should I call or should I fold? Hmm. Don't get too intimidated. I lose more often than I care to admit. He's bluffing. He's got bullshit written all over. <laughs> Is that a fact? All right. I think I'll listen to the man. Call. Moment of truth. Flip him. Oh, my. Ain't that a pretty sight? Oh, hell yeah! Nice. Well, calm down, both of you. Thanks for the advice, hon. How's about a drink? On my tab. Bottoms up. Wow, man, this smells like turpentine. <laughs> That's the weak stuff. Don't turn away from me. I'm talking to you. Oh, shit. Hey, what's the point in talking when I already told you a deal is a deal? And it's done. What's going on? This guy ripped me off. I traded him a crate of perfectly good batteries, and he gave me a box of bullets that won't fire. He could have gotten both of us killed. Oh, yeah? And who the fuck are you, a bodyguard or something? Because I don't scare easy, all right? She doesn't need a bodyguard. She can take care of herself. Believe me. Uh, well, you can't even prove those are the bullets I traded you. Oh, hey, Clem, come on. He knows the bullets don't work. Listen to him. He's not even nervous. I could have died because of his bullets. I'm fucking believable. Look out! Hey, listen. Let's all cool down, huh? You were acting crazy, I was too. We just got a little out of hand. That's all. Just give me what I'm owed. Jesus, you gotta get her under control, man. This ain't no way to do business. Boy, you have it wrong, buddy. I don't control her, which looks like bad news for you. We had a deal. All right, hey, okay, all right, so hey, we'll, we'll trade back. I'll find some batteries. I don't need batteries. What I need are bullets that won't get me killed. Oh. <gasps> oh, no. Oh, no. Drop the gun. Right now. Say he attacked you and that he was going for his gun. I fucking warned you. Eli attacked him. I only shot because... Shut it. You've done enough talking. Did he die? Drop it. There's a herd out there and you're firing off a fucking... What the fuck happened here? He attacked Javi, okay? It was self-defense. Enough from you. Did she really have to shoot? Look at my eye, man. Of course she's telling the truth. The guy ripped her off, reached for his gun, and would have shot me if she hadn't stopped him. See? You happy now? <sighs> God damn it. I'm putting you two under lock and key until I figure out what to do with Whoa. you. Oh, hey, what? Are you for real? As real as it gets. Now move it. You got some nerve coming in here fucking up my bar. I'd have punched your fucking lights out. Both of you. But Eli was a grade A certified dipshit. I'll even have someone come take a look at that cut. Hey. Thanks for having my back at the hangar. That was, um, that was cool of you. I wasn't sure there for a minute. Yeah. Well, now you really owe me one. Because you put my ass on the line with these people, and they barely know me. I know. And I'm, well, I'm saying thanks. Just don't think this makes us friends or anything. Hello? I'm Eleanor. I'm what passes for a doctor around here. The trip sort of overdoes it sometimes. I hate that I'm treating you in a cage, like you're some feral animal. Javier, pleasure's all mine. Is it now? Now, let's see about that wound.
Yeah, he got you good. Try to hold still. <clears throat> Why is it always the pretty ones who end up causing the most trouble? As if good looks equal bad behavior or something. <sighs> I've never understood it. Yeah? Well, it takes one to know one. One what? One pretty troublemaker. <laughs> I'll give you that one. People are saying she killed a man in cold blood. If you don't mind me asking, what did happen exactly? That they were arguing and that she went crazy over nothing? Look, things got out of hand. Clementine was only trying to make a point, but then... You make it sound so casual. Best thing is probably for you two to leave town and get back to your group. We were attacked earlier this evening. There were four of us. Oh, shit. I'm sorry. If there's... If there's anything I can do to help. Well, not that I have much to offer you, but... I know a thing or two about losing family. I wouldn't want to make any trouble for you. This whole thing's been... Pretty messy. I hear you, but... Eleanor? You done yet? Just about. All right. Here's what we're gonna do. I'm driving you that junkyard myself. Get you out of my hair, and no one can say I didn't do right by no one. In the meantime, you two can sleep right here and think about what shitheads you were earlier. On my terms, and on my timeline. You got me? All right. Fair enough. Fair enough? Go kiss a skunk's ass. I should be earning a goddamn Boy Scout badge for this. Trip, it doesn't seem right to wait. Javi's people, they can need a medic. Nah, -uh, no way. Not putting you in that kind of danger again. That's not your call. Look, maybe there's another way. We've got a rear gate down at the other end of the airfield. We don't use it much, but, well, we could leave tonight. Slip past the herd, get a jump start on reaching that junkyard. If your family does need help, I'll be right there to give it. What? Seriously? When you do that for me. It's just, it's the right thing to do. Anyway, think about it. I've got to check on some patients, but I'll be back in an hour. You know, I never would have guessed she had it in her. Yeah, she's... she's something. The thing is, is, and maybe this sounds weird, but I still trust Trip more than I trust her. You're right. Tripp's got more muscle, just in case. We'll wait, and get a ride with him. Glad you're finally listening to reason. You know, when I met you, I thought you'd just be another asshole like everyone else. And to think that when we first met, you nearly blew my head off. <laughs> yeah, guess I made the right call. It's gonna be a while before that herd passes. We might as well get some sleep. Good idea. I'm exhausted. I'll get the lamp. That's good. Getting into first gear is the hardest part. Now, just stay on the road. <laughs> Most important rule there is. Now, let's try shifting into second. Not bad at all, especially for a first time. You just gotta ease up off the clutch a little smoother, all right? You don't have to make the switch all at once. I want to do it again. You will. And next time, 
Just be gentle. And once we get down to Florida, we'll ditch the wheels and I'll make a sailor out of you. Mark my words. You too, buddy. I just can't get him to talk. It's unusual for his age. Well, the heater's broken. He's cold. Only makes sense to head for Florida sooner than later. Leave all this snow behind, right? Be like summer every day. Hell, I'm gonna have to find me some shorts. Yeah, no kidding. It's freezing outside. The sooner the better, for sure. No more winters ever again, Clem. I'll teach AJ to fish, how to swim. We'll watch the sunrise every morning. All three of us. But we ain't getting nowhere doing 25 miles an hour. Shift her into third. Let's get her really cooking. Well, there you go, Clem. Time we get to Florida, you'll be a better driver than me. Proud of you, Clem. Hey, I really appreciate you teaching me. You know, I, I always dreamed about the day I'd teach Duck to drive. You're the best second chance I could ask for. Where's your blanket, goofball? I swear this kid never makes a peep. Who knows how long he's gone without a blanket. The duck was gabbing a mile a minute at his age. Wasn't full sentences, but it was something. There's nothing wrong with AJ. He'll talk when he's ready. I know. Just a bit odd for a child his age. Then again, Albert Einstein didn't talk till he was four, and <laughs> look how he turned out. Crap! I got it! Turn the wheel! Don't! I'm fine. I'm fine. Is a AJ okay? Shit. Help me up. I don't, I don't feel anything. Th that's good. No. Clem, I don't feel anything. I can't feel my legs. I just can't get up. God damn it! Oh my god, no, this isn't happening. This isn't happening! Uh, let me try again. Shit, shit! Hey, hey! Stay away from him! <laughs> Gotta go help AJ Clem. I ain't letting you watch those fuckers chew me up. Go, Clem. No, I won't give up on you. No, Clementine, no. There's no point. Come on, Kenny, help me. Not today, you son of a bitch. Go. Don't look back. <sighs> there. Hey, Clem. Yeah, we're close. I gotta say, I hope your people are safe and sound. Eleanor asked me before we left to make sure of it. Oh yeah? 
Yes, sir. So that's what I'm gonna do. Though why she went to bat for you, I've got no idea. I mean, she hardly even knows you. And you don't know her, for that matter. You know, there's not much mystery to it, Trip. She's a good human being. Yeah. Eleanor's got a big heart. That's for damn sure. Guys, that's the place. Oh, shit. What a mess. Jesus. Must have been hundreds of them. Kate's good in a crisis. She'd know how to get shelter. What's that? God, you're safe. I can't believe it. You told me where to hide. I just listened to what you said. Lock yourself in and don't come out, not even once it's quiet. It kept running through my head like on a loop. You did exactly what you should have done. I always knew you were a smart kid. Thanks. It was scary at first, but once the muertos couldn't see me anymore, they just passed by. Kate and your brother, where are they? We got pulled apart when that huge bunch of muertos showed up. Kate yelled that they were gonna try to make it back to the van. Then that's where we're headed. Let's go find your brother, sweetheart. Oh no. No. No sign of him. They must have seen it like this, then gone someplace else to hide. Kate. Mariana, stay back. See me? Gross. Come on. I think we get a pass. Oh. I, I wanted to come after you. I, I swear I did. You don't have to snot all over my shirt about it. I thought we were dead. Like, never gonna see you again dead. We only had a couple bullets left. I know it must have been awful, but it's all over now. Y yeah, I, I know, but I was just so scared. I'm here now. You don't have to be scared. Hey, you hurt yourself. You must have scraped it in the truck. Didn't even notice. Hey, at least it's not a bite. Well, not much we can do about it here. I've got a lady friend who's a doctor. Soon as we get back to Prescott, She'll patch you right up. I'm Trip, by the way. Pleasure to make your acquaintance. We should be getting back. Don't want to push her luck. Who's the kid with the gun? She have a name you want to share with us? Or are you going to make me do my own introductions? Clementine's a friend. Hi there. Glad I was able to help. Well, we're very grateful to you. Really. There's a town nearby. It's safe. I like the sound of that. Oh my god. Javi, do they have hot water? Even, like, lukewarm water would be okay. 
Ah, oh, and bubble bath. Wouldn't bubble bath be amazing? Eh, don't get your hopes up too high. It's a nice place, but it's not the Ritz. Well, whatever they've got, I'm sure it's gonna be great. Between you and me, these kinds of missions don't usually go so well. But you found every single one of your people. And you found them alive, healthy, reasonably cheerful. It's a hell of a thing. Guess I'm a lucky guy. Luckier than anyone I've ever met. When we get back to Prescott, you still owe me a working ride. I haven't forgotten about our deal. You couldn't have known what happened to your van, but still, I need some way out of here. That van was the only ride I had a lead on. So maybe it's time to renegotiate. I know it's not the easiest thing to find, but... Cool. Thanks. Jesus, I'm so... She just... I know, Javi. And there'll be time for all that, but not right now. Kate needs a doctor. <laughs> Which means we gotta go. We got a window here, man. We gotta get a move on before they start shooting again. I can't leave her like this. I won't. You wanna die too? You think that's gonna help your little girl? Then get the fuck up and help me. It's time to go, man. We stay here and we finish this. Are you fucking nuts? We gotta get the fuck out of here we right now! We already killed one of you. If we don't stop them, they're gonna come after your family again. Let Trip help them. You stay with me. What? No, uh, Javi, you have to come with us. Javi, please! Trust me, Javi. We have to end this now. No, Javi, please come with us! Get her back to Prescott. We'll cover you. Javi! Go with them. I'll be fine. Give me a hand here, kid. Just keep firing until they're out of sight, okay? I'm ready. 